I'm Colin Fitzgerald here with Arrowhead Camper Sales in Mayfield, Kentucky. We're going to look at a 2019 3805 Voltage Toy Hauler 5th Wheel. This is a product by Thor under the Dutchman division. It's a three slide model, um, huge, huge garage in this. We're going to take a look at it uh, and we're going to go inside first. As you can see on the side here, there's a 3805 tag and Arrowhead Camper Sales as well, right there. We're going to go inside and we're going to go to the right up to our bedroom first. So upon entering to the right, uh, we're directly in front of us, we see a pantry, which we'll look at in a second, and then steps leading up to our bedroom and our bathroom. So going up to the bedroom, sliding door here to close that off. Nice spacious bedroom, there's a wardrobe slide in here, I'll open that up in a second. Storage around the bed, night stands on both sides of the bed, storage above the head of the bed. Huge window in here to the right. Big king bed. So that is a, a new feature here in the voltages. King bed. There's still space you can see at the foot of the bed, um, at the sides of the bed even, especially on the uh, driver's side, you would say. Uh, a lot of space there, space at the foot of the bed also. TV hook up here to the left with a backer. I'm going to open up this closet. You can see really good storage here. With the rod. There's big drawers below. And then storage, same thing over there with some shelves, and then the same drawer below. So good storage around the bed. Three airs on this unit. Um, it's got the Omni Chill system, so uh, read more about that. Uh, further details. The gist of it is this: all three airs can be ran together. Um, the system controls that versus a lot of competitors will have a load shedding system or a PCS power control system. This allows all three airs to actually be ran at one time on 50 amp service, which is a really innovative and a very cool feature that Voltage has that very few others have. So three airs on this unit. Coming back into the hallway, out of the bedroom, we have our bathroom on the left. Very nice bathroom with a one-piece fiberglass shower, really a home-style shower. Um, you can kind of tell there's a seat there, handle, shelving molded into it, nice skylight above, um, glass shower doors here. Again, more of a really a home style feel to it. To the left, you know, porcelain toilet, foot flush toilet there. And then to the right, good countertop space around our sink, storage below, and then a double door medicine cabinet above. So going back into the hallway, like we said, when you first enter into the unit, I'll give you a view of everything real quick. Uh, when you first enter into the unit, to the right here, Kind of right in front of you, there is a pantry. So a really nice addition to this floor plan. I'll show you a couple things about this. Uh, your shelves actually are removable. So if you wanted to, you can see the coat hangers there. You can make this uh, a coat closet. Or you could put a, maybe a broom, a vacuum, something like that. If you want, if you need extra space, you can do that here or use it as a standard pantry. To the left, kind of our control center. Uh, tank heater switches, overhead light switches. We have the InCommand Pro. A lot of things involved um, in that as far as the monitor panel, controlling your a water pump, water heater, your lights, HVAC, kind of your central command there here in the closet. So nice and out of the way, nobody will mess with it when you don't know about it. So pantry here to the right. I'm going to back up let you see the entire kitchen area. So lots of countertop space. You can see uh, back toward the back there, kind of a little nook for maybe a crock pot coffee maker, uh, something of that nature back in the back. Got sink covers here. Huge stainless steel sink. Um, very, very big sink here in this unit. Stainless steel appliances. Glass top stove cover on our stove. Big microwave there. Storage, see to the right there and to the left. Huge refrigerator, gas electric refrigerator here. Very, very big uh, 18 cubic foot refrigerator. Freezer above as well. And then to the left, a little more kind of pantry style storage to the left there. So the living room, uh, you'll notice storage all around the TV. Tons of storage to the left, right, and above. Fireplace below. Sound bar. To the left. Huge uh, couch here, the full length of this slide. So our first slide was in our bedroom, the wardrobe slide. Our second and third slides here in our uh, kitchen living room. 
But big couch, recliners, big windows, lights all above. And all that kind of pointing up at TV with that TV being on an angle. Before we go to the hauler section, you'll see above a loft there. Ladder in the back to get up there. So really, really big wide door here going into the back. Uh, much wider than many units that we see. Huge hauler section. Very, very big. Um, several options we got back here. We have the double trap beds. We got the couch on bottom, the queen bed on top. So those couches do come down to make uh, extra seating back here if you wanted to use this as a as extra eating area. Of course, it's, it can be used as a toy hall or a bunk room, whatever you want to do with it. Uh, many different things you can use with this big area. Uh, we got the patio system on this as well. You can see those doors actually swing out if you needed to gain extra length instead of them being up against the back door. They swing up and lock to the sides of the hauler section. So a really cool innovative thing there by Moride. And there's the steps for the, for the garage as well, for the patio, excuse me, as well. Ladders there to access uh, the bunks throughout the unit. I'm gonna go to the very back, back here on my dovetail, give you a look of the hauler from this area. You can see washer dryer prep there, audio system back here, TV back here. Windows on both sides. Just a lot of natural light coming in here too. It doesn't feel like a cave. And then right here in this door is our half bath. So we got a half bath back here in the hauler section. Toilet, uh, sink with storage, window. It's a nice little addition uh, back here in the back. Keep you from having to go through the whole unit. Of course, the second entry door back here. And that is the inside of this unit. So we're going to go outside. On the exterior, outside entertainment center, there on the slide, a uh, TV in that. You see huge frameless windows with very dark tint on them. Six point hydraulic level. Slam latch compartment doors, kind of like a motorhome style. Metal finish skirts, not plastic, so no fading and cracking. Same way with our vents for our hauler section. Two awnings, so a ton of awning coverage on this unit. Uh, pretty much the full length. Zero gravity um, ramp door, very easy to open and close this. If you've ever had a toy hauler or mess with the doors, they can be very heavy, very hard to get um, up and down. Not the case with the zero gravity by Morab. Awning on the back there as well. Ladder on the side here to get up on the top of the unit. I'm trying to back up and give you a view. I love the graphics on this. I'm trying to get it all in one picture. Uh, fueling station back here at the back. Triple axle. Uh, more ride suspension systems. Really cool uh, wheels on the voltages. Cable slides. So no, th no through frame where we're compromising the frame. We have cable slides on these. On this side, I want you to see the docking center. So very nice docking center by voltage. Winterizing valves, CV hookups, water hookups, black tank flush, all that very nice and neat organized there. Our leveling, the hydraulic leveling is right there. Good pass through storage to the other side. On the front, 5,500 watt generator as well. And then really cool front cap, uh, kind of painted there with some accent lights in it. Uh, we really like that front cap. So 2019 3805 voltage toy hauler by Dutchman Thor. Three slide model, huge garage, big refrigerator, tons of countertop space, and a half bath. That's here at Arrowhead Camper Sales in Mayfield, Kentucky.